Photo Tutorial 101 by Studio JPEG. Hi, this is JP LaForest from Studio JPEG. In this episode, I will show you how to operate a camera lens. So I'm going to show you the different rings on a camera and the different buttons and all that. While each lens can be a little different and you can look in your in the manual that came with the lens to learn more about your own specific lenses, but the principles are very similar from one lens to the other. All right, so the functions of a lens are basically split into two categories. You have these rings here. So in the case of this Canon kit lens here, you have the zoom ring over here and you have the focus ring over here. And some lenses could have them in a different position. But for this kissed lens, that's where they're at. And then you have these switches here, which are the stabilizer on and off. And you have the autofocus on and off switch. So the stabilizer can be called different things on different lenses. On Canon, it can be stabilizer, image stabilizer, or IS. For Nikon, it could be the vibration reduction or VR. For Tamron, it's VC, Vibration Compensation. And for Sigma, it's OS, Optical Stabilization. So it's basically very similar technology, but each camera or lens manufacturer calls it differently. So what the stabilizer does is it tries to remove the shake in the image. So it's a really nice feature to have. But when you're using the camera on a tripod like I'm doing right now, it's usually better to take the stabilizer off. Uh, depending on exactly which lens, uh, some lenses can detect it's on the tripod and disable it automatically. Others don't have that feature. And there's a debate about, you know, what types of shutter speeds you can use without affecting it. But as a general rule of thumb, if your camera is on a tripod, it's better to keep the stabilizer off. And then on top here, you have the autofocus switch. So AFMF, autofocus, manual focus. And then I believe it's the Nikon cameras that some of them have in other switch on the side here that does exactly the same thing. So if you're using one of those cameras, you have to make sure that the autofocus is on on both the lens and on the camera body. And basically the autofocus allows the camera to focus the image automatically for you. So that's a nice feature to have. But the lenses also have the manual focus option for when you need that also. So with the lens on manual focus, I can take the focus ring and I can turn it here. And that's how you can focus from something nearby to something further away. And I'm not going to tell you which is clockwise, counterclockwise and all that because each manufacturer has their own preference for that, for both the focus and for the zoom. So I'm not going to mix up anybody. Just try it with your camera, see which one with that specific lens focuses in which direction. And the same thing with the zoom. Uh, you can see on the side here, you have markings for 18, 24, 35. And on the top here, you don't see it, but there's 55 and a little mark. And basically, if you look at the mark, you can see how zoomed in the lens is. So you just turn the ring here, so you can go at 18, 24, 35, and all the way to 55. So that's really all there is to it. Uh, and obviously uh, the lenses usually come with a lens cap such as this one and you just put it in front of the lens when you're not using it. So that protects the lens from anything. And also it protects uh, your house too because uh, if the sun hits in the lens and bounces off of it, it can actually burn a house down. So by keeping the cap off, you make sure that the sun doesn't reflect off your lens and burn anything down. Thank you very much for watching this episode of Photo Tutorial 101, Take Control of Your Camera. If you liked the video, please click like, subscribe, and share with a friend. 
and don't forget to check out the other videos on this channel and especially the Photo Tutorial 101 series. If you have any questions, comments or suggestions, please leave them in the box below. Have a great day and I'll see you next time.